be sure to click like and subscribe for more Magnus and Scout videos. Hello and welcome to another Magnus and Scout video. Every morning, no matter the weather, Scout was always pretty hyped to go on the first walk of the day. If she's not stealing shoes, she's running around super pumped to go on the walk. So on Thursday morning there, rather than going for breakfast after her morning walk, Scout was doing something a little bit different and going to the vet for a teeth cleaning. So it was in the car for her ATM drop off at the vets for the dental. She was going to be there all day. They are probably doing a procedure in the afternoon. But Scout didn't really know where she was going, but was happy to get in the car. When she got to the vet, she was a little bit apprehensive about going inside. But we managed to get her inside for her appointment. When there, I had a little conversation with a vet about what the procedure was going to be. We elected to get some blood tests done just in advance of the dental, just for her health and well-being. And then she was at the vet for the whole day and we picked her up at 7pm. So it was quite a long day for a scout in the vets. She also had to get a tooth extracted, one of her molars at the back, there had been a crack in it, so that had to get extracted. So that was unfortunate, but Scout did seem in okay form when she came out from the vet. Very big eyes, but a little bit more with it than she had been in previous times when she'd been put under for different procedures. But Scout was very happy to get away from the vets and back to the car. <laughs> So 
So had one tooth extracted, a molar at the back. So the cost for the bud work, the dental and the tooth extraction came to about £680 in total. A little bit more than expected, but we hadn't expected necessarily the tooth to have to get removed, but luckily it was just a one tooth. When Scout came home, she was very stressed at first. She was doing lots of pacing. We had let the, her into the garden she could do the business because she hadn't been in several hours, but she was just basically walking back and forward into the garden, into the hallway, and she kept us up for the next hour. She was already very disoriented and a bit stressed. But we put some calming music on the TV and just gave her our space. We tried to encourage her to lie down, but she just kept wanting to pace back and forward. She was doing quite a lot of whining during this period too. Very unsettled, very unsure. Even Magnus was getting a bit stressed by Scout's behaviour. He was panting too, so we calmed him down as well. After an hour, we were able to take off her vet wrap make her leg a bit more comfortable for herself. Then after about an hour or so, Scout did eventually settle down and lie down. She was still whimpering, but at least she was lying down. And then eventually she did get a little bit of sleep. She was up pacing again during the evening. So we spent a lot of time downstairs or in the dark, sleeping on the sofa while Scout was panting, just to make sure she was comfortable and that she was safe. But eventually she did fall asleep. And in the morning she was back to more of her normal self. Weren't you Scout? So rather than morning walks, she was just basically in the garden. The vet said to just keep it simple, short walks and bathroom breaks the first few days. We're also given some food just to supplement her diet, just because of the sore tooth and the stitching, just so it could heal. So rather than the chicken, we're given this sort of tin food to feed instead. And then once she'd had that for her breakfast, a can, she was a little bit napping. <laughs> and then she was happy enough to go for her lunchtime walk. For our lunch we were able to feed her her natural instinct because it was soft, just added a little bit more water to it and we added our pain meds to the dog food as well. So our teeth are looking absolutely fabulous. It was a shame about the one tooth that was cracked that had to come out. It was really great that our teeth looked absolutely amazing. So we'll try and maintain that as best we can. So we have to go back for a follow-up appointment at the weekend just to check her teeth and then one 10 days later, then she'll get hopefully the all clear and she can go back to a regular diet and regular exercise. So for now, she's stunning herself and taking it easy.
be sure to click like and subscribe for more Magnus and Scout videos. Finding Magnus and Scout videos on YouTube isn't always the easiest thing to do in the world. So if you're looking for more Magnus and Scout videos, simply click on the Magnus Greyhound icon next to the video. That will take you to the channel. And on here, simply click on videos and you'll be able to see the full range of Magnus and Scout videos and catch up on any that you haven't seen or some of your favorites from the past few years. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all again soon.